I'm going to show you a technique for creating a shadow that accurately reflects the silhouette of an object that's been masked using a layer mask. So I'm going to um, create a shadow for these wrestling figures and I have these masked on layers. Now the way I have this set up, I've got these figures on two layers. Um, the, the top layer has a filter applied that just makes them darker so that they match the scene better. And then I have an adjustment layer that is um, converting them to black and white. So the first thing I'd like to do is to create a new layer. And I want that new layer to be placed directly above the um, figures that I'm going to be working with right now. And let's go ahead and rename that layer. So I'm naming mine Rustler's Shadow. And then let's create a selection on that layer. So what I'm trying to do is to create a selection that will isolate these figures. And I'm going to hold Command and then hover over my layer mask and just select that so it creates a selection. And then what I want to do is isolate that uh, the selection so that it is only the marching ants are only surrounding the uh, the figure. So I'm zooming out here, and I'm already in my rectangular marquee tool. And what I'm going to do is hold down the Option key, which gives me a minus sign. And that minus sign is going to allow me to select and subtract from that selection. And I just want to subtract all this background stuff so that the selection is only uh, only affecting the figures and if there's a little bit if you see some marching ants around the edges or whatever um, don't worry about that it shouldn't affect anything okay next thing is to go to edit and fill and then change it to black and then we can deselect and then what we can do is convert this layer to a smart object. So let's convert to smart object. All right, and then if I go back to my move tool, I can just move this, this around. And if I just wanna make sure, I don't have any other area on, the, um, on this layer with any, of, any black on it, so I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. All right, so what I can do now is hit Command T and select that and that gives me my transform options and so I can rotate it maybe before I rotate it what I'd like to do is uh, flip it so go to edit and transform and then choose flip horizontal because the shadow is going to be kind of a mirror image and then I'm going to rotate it I need to have these these legs on the shadow match up with the legs on the figure and if I just rotate this 180 degrees, then that's going to work out just fine. And so if your shadow, if your light source is coming from behind, let's say, then, then this might work out perfectly. But my light source seems to be coming from the uh, kind of the upper right. So I think my shadow is going to need to be placed in that direction. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of um, modification on here. Now, if I hold down the op, uh, the command key, I can I can kind of distort this shadow. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Uh, if I hold the shift key, I can kind of squish it. I can keep rotating it, and really, it's just experimentation. Um, holding command and uh, distorting, um, holding shift and resizing or squishing it and let's see what I would really like to do is stretch this in a way that will allow these these um, these feet to kind of align and also have the shadow go off to the um, to the left or to the lower left so this is just going to take some experimentation and uh, just depends on the direction that your shadow is. Uh, I've got pretty soft light in here, so it's kind of hard to see exactly. 
uh, any distinct shadows to try to match this up with a particular direction. So I'm just going to try to make this look as, as kind of realistic as possible. All right, so yeah, it just every situation is going to be a little bit different. All right, so that's what I've got. Now what I'm going to do is move this wrestler shadow below the wrestlers because I don't want the shadow to overlap their feet. And then um, I've got pretty soft light going on in here, so I don't want such a hard edge, dark shadow. We're going to go ahead and um, change the blend mode to, to multiply. I'm going to reduce the opacity. And then I'm also going to apply a blur to this. So it's important that this is changed to a smart object first, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then you can play around with the uh, the radius on this. The higher the radius, the more the blur. So the more the blur, the more diffuse the light is. And again, in this photo, the light seems to be fairly diffuse. I'm not seeing any really hard edge dark shadows. Um, maybe it's an overcast day is what it seems to be. So it's really, um, you know, mine I think is going to be lighter than that. All right, so that's a way to create a realistic looking shadow. Um, depending on your scene and your lighting, yours is going to maybe be at a different angle, um, have a different uh, opacity setting, have a different blur on it. Maybe yours wouldn't be as diffuse as mine. And let's switch that off as well so you can see the difference. So with shadow, without shadow. 